All right, so from the creek, from the Goodwill Creek, which is right up that way, uh, we get flooding and this turns into a swamp area. But all these trees here that you see are actually nests. They have nests for uh, American bald eagles, owls, hawks, and several other uh, animals too, robins and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys down over here I'm going to tell you about how I figured out I discovered a, um, an ancient, the site, I believe is the site of an ancient village, which you're going to go, it can go back with the Dakota here. If not, all the way back, could be thousands of years, could be a few thousand years, all the way up to maybe the 1800s or the 1860s, 1880s. So I'm going to show you that, but I ain't going to show you the location because it's private. I'm going to take you back in history right now okay so this is the goodwill creek and as you can see it's dried out this goes continues east it continues east i think into minnesota because minnesota the border is not is just right over that way so i've never seen it dried out like this at this time i've been coming for 10 years and there's something behind it, i'll find out all right so this is the again this is the goodwill creek and that's going back toward, that's going back toward, uh, west toward Old Agency Village. And it's all dried out here. And I suspect that the reason why it's dry is I think that is, if you look under here, when I first came, these, these, these tubes here that pass the water, they're filled up with mud. All right, so where there's water... There's animals and there's people. So I believe, I've been coming here 10 years and I just found this place the other day. This is some kind of little extra branch that broke off from the, the Goodwill Creek. And I have found signs of markings like those trees right there. You see how low they are? You know why they're low? Because they mark, they when these trees were first planted where they're little, the natives would bend the branches down and let them tie down so they grew real nice. And what happened is this is a marking, a signal for people to know that the village is here or, or the people are here or a marking to let them know where it's water, a pathway. So I believe that this here, for with the stuff that I'm finding, this is the site, actual site of an old village. And I think it goes, I'm pretty sure, of course. Well, I, it's going back from the Dakotas all the way back. Who knows how long? Because on the top, I'm finding all kinds of writings, stones. I'm finding here, there's, uh, there's, um, I'm finding spear points. I'm finding uh, cutting tools, hand cutting tools. I'm finding big stones that've been car they've been uh worked. See this one right here? So how it goes down. So then this path you'd be just walking and you would be going under and you'll know where you're at all the time. Okay, because this right here, and then I gotta be careful right now because there's animals out here. There's been uh recently there was a moose spotted out here. There was a bear yes east over here to chase the farmers. Why, uh, wife, then there was a cougar up that way. I found tracks of a cougar four, five, six years ago up that way. But there's been cougar spotted. There's, there's coyotes like, like a mug because they're all over here. And I don't want to run into them. So this is an old path and this was an old village. What it was was when the water dried down. See, when the water dried down, they, uh, they were able to use this here. To do the cooking and and to do their work using these using what I call old ta uh, uh, tables stone tables and stuff all right now and all around this branches all around these edges right here like right there specifically on that little patch under all the going back to the other creek going north towards Fargo 
This is where the village would have been. So there's TP. There's all kinds of stuff that's here. This field is here going south is littered with nothing but artifacts. I mean, old ones too. I'm talking about some that are, I believe to be more than, I'm pretty sure that I got one that's called portable art. And this little portable art thing, uh, it just fits in your hand, a little thing. I'm gonna show you guys when I get it because it goes, it gotta go back to the to the tribe for the, to the college or for, to the, to the, the person in charge to, uh, Tamara St. John, who's in charge of the historical artifacts. Plus, she's also the uh, South Dakota State Representative here. Okay, so I have found all kinds of stuff littered here. Like I said, I'm going to give you this. Can't say it at public where it's at, but I, yeah, definitely going to. This goes to the tribe. They're going to know where it is at. What I found and the evidence, because I got all the evidence. So I got a portable art thing. It's made out of stone, but it got little holes and little eyes. And I swear to God that it looks like a, a mammoth. So when is a mammoth's era? After the dinosaurs. And then in the time of the mammoths, humans were there too, coexisting. They used to hunt them. So these fields and through these up in here, they're gonna, there's, there's, uh, there's dinosaur and mammoth, mammoth, uh, bones. I'm, I'm, I'm a thousand for sure, for sure, because 150 miles up, 150 miles south, uh, they found suited dinosaur, you know, and the backdrop was for that. See these right here? These stones? A lot of people say it's these stones here. Uh, oh, that's stuff from, uh, from the ice age, from the uh, yeah, from the ice age when the glacier receded. But if you look in here, real good, you can see these are. This is not from the ice age. On the sides, you can see the chipping where they chipped it away. And this right here appears to be something they would use to strip bark or something. So they would use the big boulders like like a, a counter. You know, they would work them, and you find all kinds. I mean, everything's littered here. It's just all over. So I would suspect that everything from recent times, of course, will be on top. And then if below it is going to be the more, the stuff that's, the stuff that's more ancient. I'm talking about 10 to 12,000 years ago. That's how ancient this was. I mean, of course, these are from the times of, this earth is old. But I'm saying, you know, that... I see this. What could this be? It could be a seat. So if you know what you're looking for, and I do because I've been studying this for the last 10 years on my own, I would say all the, I would say the tribe would be up there. Their houses. And I, like I said, up there, that field up there is just littered. I mean, I found battle axes. I got all kinds of stuff that are, that are just incredible. Incredible, you know, and some of these, and then a lot of these boulders are like I said, they got markings and they use them, they used them, they worked, they worked them out, and they had a purpose. Come on, guys, I gotta keep them close because I might run, you never know when you run into an animal. Another thing about this, right here, all these, there's some big, there's some beautiful uh, pieces of wood to make beautiful canes. So I'm going to give me some of this. I'm going to harvest a couple of these cane, uh, pieces of wood later on for that purpose. I'm looking for a table that is real sure proof of what I was saying. Because see, this this little creek here, this part, look, that's worked on. If you look on that stone right there, that stone is worked on. I, I got to come through here and go by stone by stone because there's sometimes writing or... or uh, there's designs on them that they put. You know, you this has got to be really, really checked out. All right, like I said, this was a, a offshoot of the of the of the of the Goodwill Creek, and apparently, to me, uh, it's dry now. So it means in the past it was dry too. So when it was dry, that's when the tribe would come down here in this section to do the, to do work. Here's another one. This is worked on. This is not, this is not from the, well, 
I don't know. Let's see what the case is because I see chips where they would work. That's an indicator to me. People, I know there was people here. There still are. The Dakota are the answer. They're the descendants of all these people. They were here 10 to 12,000. Here's the proof. This is the freaking proof. I'm coming out to get it. Look at all these stuff, all these stones. They had a purpose. Let's see if I find an artifact right off the top. Because, you know, that's how I was finding them. I, I started getting cross-eyed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of here because it's starting to get dark. Let's see, is this a good cane? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I got me one. I'll cut him down when I get back to the headquarters. Toby, come on. Toby! <whistles> I gotta keep these dogs close. Come here, what are you doing? Come on. Because they're my protection. All right, we're gonna cross this field here, which I believe will come out this, this creek here. This side creek. This is not the main branch. It dies out somewhere that way. It goes back around. It comes off this way. Spins back. And it goes all the way back to the creek again. It goes in a circle. So I know for freaking sure. Like I said. All this patch here. Everything around here. This was a village. This is the site of a village. Right here. I'm, I'm, and then on the other side too. Which is farmland. Least, but if you go and walk it, you're gonna find all kinds, man. There's littered. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm gonna show you what I found. I found some hellified stuff. So I'm pretty sure that this is right here, going around, is the site. Oh shit, of an ancient village. Okay, of a, my, could, all is of a village. I'm saying from up from the time of the Sioux now. To the eight, eight, 19, uh, 1800s, all the way back, 10, 12,000. It has to be. Because it's too perfect. This The creek that branches off goes around and comes back right into it. So naturally, this is where I would pitch my, my, my teepee if I, was, uh, if, I, if I was chief. All right? Now I'll show you the rocks. Okay, so as I'm walking... I'm finding the depressions. You know what the depression is? They're circular depressions. And you know what that is? That means this is where, see, because this is where the site of a teepee was. There's another one over there. I see the depressions on the ground. They're circular. And they're spaced out, which the way they would have been. There's another one. So, yeah, there's there it goes. There's all this whole thing here. This is proof. This place here, who knows when, but this is the site. I'm 100% positive of uh, a village. Okay, so it probably would have been from, like I said, from the 1800s with the Dakota now, and then with their ancestors up to 10 to 12,000 years ago. Because what I'm finding back there in that dry piece of creek from the Goodwill Creek. I'm fine. Listen, I'm finding some. I found something, a stone that looks like a mammal. It was worked on. The eyes were pecked out or drilled out real nice. And it looks like a, a, a mammoth. So that would be proof of contact of the Dakota's ancestors having contact with mammoths in this area right here, which is very important. See where my, where Toby Tatanka's at? That was right there. Circular. That's because they used to dig holes. They had a fire. They had their fire in there, and you were in there. I, if they excavated, they would buy. They would find uh, charcoal. They would find all kinds of stuff in there. All kinds of artifacts. This whole field right here is gonna be artifacts. And then back there, ancient. I'm talking about times of of the mammals, right after the dinosaurs. So this offshoot of the of the creek comes right here. And bada bing, bada boom. There's a Goodwill Creek right here. The main one that runs east from old agency from the west. Okay, it stops right there. 
And then what do you got here? Like I said, bada bing, bada boom, you got a path. So this would have been the path, the ancient path out of that island that circled with water and they would come through here. All this stuff here, man, man, you could imagine. I could imagine what's underneath here. All kinds of stuff. I said, like I said, also with one of those devices, which I'm looking to buy, but those things cost like seven, eight thousand. But if I hit it, I'm gonna get one. Is the ground penetrating radar, and I'm gonna bring it to the tribe to see uh, if they're willing to to do some research. I'll do the research for them right here. I'm I'm trying to. Buy, okay, see. So now we're back on the road, and that would have been the path they would have came out of. That would have been a village, ancient. Up to modern times, 1800s with the Dakotas, and before that with their ancestors. And then let's see what else I got. Like I said, so this is a checkerboard. They call it a checkerboard. And there's th behind that is private land, but there's a little little spot, maybe a quarter of an acre right there. There's got a, an abandoned, torn down, uh, old ca cabin from the from the 1860s, from 1868 homestead settlers. That the, that the the farmer might want to sell me, and I could buy it. If I buy it, then I own it right there, and that's where I'll be living right there. All right, so here's some of the stuff that I collected for the last ten years around here. These are native. If you see this, these are this is like a scraper. This has been worked out. These are. I'm saying that some of these are from the time maybe from the ending of the ice age stone age tools all the way up into modern here's a battle here's a battle axe you can see how it was chipped on the sides that, that that's not by accident this is another tool these are these are all tools all tools that i believe some may not be but this is what i collect and see this one like these straight these are worked these are work tools These are work tools. This is like a grinder to grind. They could test the DNA because of the oils of the people who touch it. They can know how long ago, or even if they get some DNA out of it. I'm not sure how they do it, but they can tell. They know what they're doing anyway. See, all these are worked, and all these were used for tools. You know, and, and war. Like this one for sure. That one, this is for sure for war. Probably they would have had it strapped into a piece of wood in the back. However they were going to do it with deer skin or, or ligaments from the buffalo. And bam. So this is the collection here. All this is going to go. This all belongs to the tribe. So it's all got to go to um, tomorrow St. John. Tomorrow St. John, who's also the state representative. Plus, like I was saying, I have some portable art that I got. I got to give it to her too because I found something very interesting. And I was talking about it earlier. It was a little what they call portable art stuff that the the in the people that were here, uh, Stone Age would you would would make and carry in their pockets or something. And the one I got though, I didn't mention it got three eye three eye holes. So that's something that's very in, intriguing because three eye holes. There are animals that existed in dinosaur times. Now, does that mean that they met seen these? No, I don't think so. So my hypo my hypothesis is that somebody, someone in, the, in, the, in thousands of years ago came across the skeleton of a, of a tri, uh, asap, whatever the heck you're going to call it, the, the animal with three eyes, uh, dinosaur, and, and they made portable art out of it because they would have considered it to be really weird, like something, uh, like some kind of god, like Wankantanka, the, the, the buffalo. You know, or, you know, but it's a mammal. I know it's a mammal. Maybe it's a woolly mammoth. I'm not sure. But for sure, they know that woolly mammoths and humans coexist at the same time. And the original Americans hunted them. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. And if you check it out, like I said, all this belongs to the tribe. Some of the stuff that I found over there on private land, because I did a clean out. Uh, that's where those things came. I'm not going to keep them. I'm going to turn them over to the tribe, especially that piece that I found that's got the three eyes. That's very intriguing. I'm pretty sure the tribe is going to be intrigued by that and more so uh, state representative tomorrow, St. John. Okay? So whatever you guys do, if you know where this place is at and you're from the tribe here, don't be, don't, don't comment on this. Don't comment on this where you, if it's wherever at. 
That's private stuff. And I'm not giving no location where it's at because this is a, a, a ancient site and is illegal for anyone to come over here. And I'm right down the block. And if I catch somebody go over there, it's gonna be uh it's gonna be the Fetterman uh affair again. All right.